Hello again, and welcome back to Rebuild. Um, we have a natural disaster coming. I'm beginning to wonder if it was built over a mine or something. Our first hint was that a massive sinkhole opened up in the middle of our fort. Nice! Split our two suburb our suburbs in two and reduced most of the buildings to rubble. Fuck off. We didn't see nothing to try to climb out of the hole yet, but I'm not taking any chances. We're going to plug up the hole with any old junk we can find and then builders put something new on top of it. Might as well get some building materials out of it. Where did our sinkhole come? Oh. The St. Michael School for Boys is the oldest boarding school in the district and was long known as a place for send your difficult child when others' private schools refuse to take him. I guess their prison-like discipline combined with students well-versed in the art of schoolyard violence have done a good job of fending off the undead. Pity none of the teachers survived. What? Is that what this is? I don't know. That's weird. I'm weirded out. Um, so we're running out of food now. I'm gonna put some people... Ah, where are any of my people? You're building a tower there. Okay. You need to go over here? Yeah. How much food are we losing? We're losing one food per day. And we do have a lot of people. There we go. Now we're making more food again. Um, wait, this is really like recruiting. That sounds fine to me. Doo -doo. Mm, go. It's worse than we expected. The Luddite missing scout was captured by bandits. We listed in for long enough to learn that they're holding for ransom. And expect the Luddies will pay, like they always do. One of the bandits is teasing their prisoner with a gigantic knife, saying he's going to slice off a finger to send with a ransom note. Now, do we attack the kidnappers or pay the ransom? can pay the ransom, that's no big deal, but I kind of want to attack the kidnappers, but I think this is going to end up bad. We rocked in there and killed the guy with the knife before the others could even reach for the weapons. The rest of the fight went just as well, and we walked out of there without a scratch. The little guy we rescued didn't know why they kept happening to him, but he was glad he still had all of his fingers. We did it. What's this? Oh, raid or okay. so if I go to like here or something then we can raid it and attack it but we're gonna meet with we're gonna send moose because moose is good with them and we'll send mr. Kelly because he's a leader okay now now, now, now. We will farm with you. No, go to the big farm. Farm it up. Okay, we have. Okay, go scout here, Darnell. many damn zombies around. I'm so tired of the zombies. Let's see. We actually have traps to put down. Really? About oh, here. No? Here? No? I guess I can't put them if the zombies are already there. The blast one. Here. I'm actually make an explosive with this chick. Okay. 
What the balls? That is horrible. We're meeting with you. We just saved your people. Oh, I want to beat them in the face. What is my plan now then? I'm gonna explode that one, that's what that's for. There's no way for us to get over there besides that bridge. So what we're gonna have to do is kill this one, or take this one over, and then the bridge. First... Okay. We saved him. Oh. Hmm. I would normally say that we would take him, but we already have lots of food that is needed. We're losing a lot. So we saved him. Mud was glad to see their missing scout back home again. He apologized for any trouble the guy had caused and gave us the materials as promised. I want this place. Too soon. Because if we can't get that place, then we're not going to be able to expand anywhere. Except for if we get a reliance. Well, I found the other guy. He's a tiny little guy, it looks like. Um, I think I'm going to have to attack these people. You'll see. How about we do this? Kill zombies. Take some of my. Take all of them, it takes way too long. So, never mind. Kill the zombies. Moose can do that. If I recruit people. Farm. Or how much are we missed looting still? Do, 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 do. Where's our other farm? Or another farm? I want to take this farm back. Build. Wait, what? We're... So we demolish it. We're gonna go farm. Boom. Um. Oh, we can talk to Snake. His earlier story was a dog's man's best friend. Uh, my parents bred dogs. Uh, my parents bred them and they taught me and my sisters to love them just like they were our own. Sure, the doctors told us that we were a bit anemic from all the flea bites, but you never need to worry about getting a cold in the winter months when you got a great big furry friend to curl up with. I tried taking on the family profession, but when I was old enough, or when I was old enough, but by then our business was struggling. Went too many cases of our doctors getting sick from our pooches. Animal control was like honest like a retriever on a particularly slow moving duck. Okay. We snuck across the border with a few animals we had left to try and start things over, but then all the zombie business showed up and that splashed. That plan pretty fast. Improved skills no tools expert. Done. Just like that, he is our best healer, our best guy. Yeah. Um, go here, you go here, upgrade. 
Yay, finally, someone did something. There you go, there you go, kill that. They're not any danger to our fort, but they're just there. Kicking it, I guess. We need to kill the zombies there, too. I was summoned to meet with Rufus this week at the St. Michael's Fort. He was disappointed that we didn't speak to them. Oh, that's okay. He was disappointed that we didn't speak to them before deciding on a new government, but understood. We are different people with different values, he said. But I think we could find a way to become allies and share the governance. I apologize, because I don't know. Rufus seemed surprised that I would apologize. He thanked me and hoped people would work together. He suggested that we come by and meet him sometime. Aww. Oh wait. Never mind, not aw. A pack of wild dogs dug their way under the wall and we were halfway done digging into our own food supplies, but our pup Farley chased them off. I'm proud of that little bugger right now. Good boy, Farley. I thought he died, but he did not. He saved. Okay, so. We will go meet. There we go. I don't like you guys. Talk with Rufus bounded out of the school's fort front doors to meet me and slept me lightly on the yard. Tag, he yelled. Oh, tag, he yelled. You're it. After half an hour of running around with the boys, they eventually let me stop and catch my breath. What did they come for you for again? To talk. Bah, Rufus punched a wall. I hate schools. I hate everything about this place. I tried to ask what was wrong. Maybe he'd just been cranky because he needs to know. But he rounded on me. I hope that's a joke, mister, because it isn't funny. Schools are prisons for children. You may not remember because you're like a million years old now, but they're all bad places. Burn them all down. Debate. I asked him why they all live in school if he hates them so much. He said, well, he said, the gym is great, and the shop and the science rooms have pretty cool stuff in them too, I guess. Also, it's crazy defensible because they totally built this like a prison. I got to admit that schools aren't all bad as long as you have the right teachers. I met with Rufus, the leader of whatever, if you ask me if he's arrogant little punk, but I guess I was 15 once too. I mentioned that, I mentioned the stuff Lud said about the kid's dad, Dr. blah blah blah, admitted his dad was a CD, C researcher, they used to live in the suburbs here, but he swore Aga blah 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 was a good guy who never publicated such a horrible disease. He said he knew his dad was dead, but he couldn't say why, wouldn't say why, he told me to drop the subject. About and stop worrying about a cure. There ain't no cure, old man. Just a lot of false hope. Apologize. Again. I tried to say I was sorry, but Rufus refused to answer me and left. I saw him later with his eyes all red like he'd been crying. Poor kid. Aww. That's not nice. Alrighty. So. Oh. No, no. God damn it. <laughs> Reclaim. Go, go, snake. Uh... I saw it there. There's Lily. Uh, here, she's the one that was born in a fort. She likes to drive. I love looking at maps. Someday I'm going to get a car and drive out on my own to see what the rest of the world is like. Everybody says it's the same as here everywhere. What if there's an island out there that the zombies never got to? Do you think you could get there? Lily's ready for a new perk. What's camper mean? Well, that'd be nice. What's driver do? We'll do that one. Done. Darnell's the happiest. The least one is Ken. Okay. What's your beef? Oh, hate mandatory guard duty. What's your beef? She's lonely. Oh. 
Hi, guy. Did I get my explosive? Yeah, I'm gonna use it on here. No. Okay, so we need to get some people farming. You're killing people. You can, you can go... Or no. You can go farm here. Oh, that's all I needed? Was just one... Okay. Well, since no one's doing anything right now, we'll just get lots of people farming to get my food up. I'm gonna blow this one up too, after... I get these ones done. You... Oh. I guess you can go scavenge there. Oh. We got the schematics. We've got the schematics. says there's a lost and found in our workshop. There's a door... Three feet of solid steel and bolted shut. Needs that kind of protection for a lost found. Gotta be something cool in there. There are air ducts going into the room. We wouldn't fit in there, but we could send a kid through there. Oh my god, don't die, kid. Oh. Uh, that little Mihai could have been an excellent chimney sweep in the 15th century England. He just scurried in there and did the job. Lost and found turned out to be a legit, but no idea why it was so fortified. Nothing in there but mittens and sunglasses. He did find a crowbar named Pegley's Precious Pry, at least. Done. Done. Let's see. Meet with. Meet with. I guess Moose and Meet. Oh, of course. Talk with Rufus. Uh, St. Michael's needs 10 loads of building material. Rufus says they're there to shore up all the weak walls, but I don't think you even need half of that many materials for such a project. I'm not sure if he's lying, but their builders are just inefficient. I need... Oh. We found a king blood covering... The roof of a farmhouse with corrugated aluminum to protect the children from malfunctioning satellite microwaves. We nodded and tried to avoid direct eye contact. Let's obviously have one of those days. Lou thinks it's time we swear loyalty to the Ludies. I thought he meant an alliance of equals, but he's describing something more submissive to the rule. This is awkward. Some of our people definitely won't like this idea. Does Lud's friendship mean that much to us? We are not gonna... We'll come back later for that. I ran into the Ludies today, and Owen Wood was in a full lecture mode. Today's topic, how TV and the internet nearly destroyed our children. He made some dumb joke like, thank God for zombies, eh? Which got his attention. He knew we talked to that kid Rufus from St. Michael's and wanted to know what we learned. You don't believe him, do you? I bet his dad's home office is full of documents that could prove what really happened, and maybe even tell us how to find a cure. Lou's got a point. He wants to come with us to investigate Ru Rufus's old house in the suburbs. Should we do it? Uh, we'll do it. Great, except we don't know where Rufus's old house is, only that it's somewhere we'll have to convince the kid to tell us how to find it. Well, that seems like a good plan. <laughs> Carrie's all grown up. Uh, she's a scavenger. I had a chance to talk with her over a drink today. She said, You know what it feels like when you've been fighting Zed since forever? When I was a kid, I thought there was literally never a time before zombies. Then one day I was running from zombies and had to hide in an old library. While I waited for my mom and dad to rescue me, I was looking at old picture books. and was shocked. Boys and girls were playing outside and there were no zombies. Done. You're a hoarder. Done. And a perfect first mission for you.
how about I take a soldier? We need materials. Okay, so... Chop wood. Builders make the best lumberjacks. Okay, done. Alright. I... Oops, I kicked my mic. That's okay. Why are you taking an age and a half to fucking get that place back? We need to meet with them again, but they're off doing stuff, so we will wait for that. I really don't like these people. Okay. Scout here. Oh, everyone's... Alright, because they're getting food. You know... One's getting food. Where's the other ones? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Uh-oh. I wonder what the city must smell like to a dog. Their noses are thousands of times more sensitive than ours. Does that mean they can smell each individual body composing out there? That kind of seem sense of smell has saved us many times, but today Chester just went one step further and jumped between his master and a zombie. He was loyal to the end. We buried Chester along with our own fallen... We aren't so far gone from civilization yet that we'll stoop to eating loyal pets. No fucking hell no. That's so sad though. I also don't have any... Uh... My brain might get there one day. <laughs> I don't have anyone... No high level things now. Because he... That's what he had was... Ah! Let's see. Maybe we want to all stats. Mm. The top hat. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I have any weapons. That's fine. Okay, we're good. That pharmacy is mine. Shut the fuck up. Okay. So once he gives me enough materials... Oops. The laboratory is also mine. You can shut the fuck up, guy. Okay, let's see something. We're gonna go to factions. Especially food pranks and food fights. Okay. Whatever. Oh. Um. As soon as. Blah blah blah. blah. I can't talk. <gasps> so that's good news that we're gonna be able to take that bridge now. Let's actually let's see one. How about if I take some lower level ones? Maybe I'll take Moose with us. So I don't have to kill and bombard. Oh, the man I went to recruit at the suburb was starving his skin. Was so starved his skin was hanging off his bones. But he was chipper about it, cracking jokes about his recent diet and how Weight Watchers could have learned a few things from him. His name is Hans King. He doesn't have any special kills, kills but says he's flexible. What should he do? He should be a builder. We need more sturdy walls. Okay, so you're gonna go here and build a tower. No, you're gonna ah uh, go chop down wood. I don't know why it's taking so long for them to get wood, but. We found Annie's whip in the suburbs. It could be cut, but he's... Who gets to use it? Oh. Someone else is already using it. That's fine.
Hmm. My brain. My brain is so silly. Let's see if I kill. Oh wow. Cancel. Done. Cause there's a lot of. Or no, there's not. These are the leaders. We need to go meet with you guys. There we go. Okay. Start mission. Scout. Okay, I think... Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna talk with Rufus. Alright, he needs materials. Lud and I met with Rufus through um, St. Michael's today. He asked if he could take us to look for his dad's old zombieism research. The, kid, the look the kid gave me, well, I think the answer was either no or go kiss a zombie and die. How could we persuade him? Oh, I wish I could do this one. Uh, convince Rufus. Luke Charlie explained his theory that Dr. Agabanyani had been developing zombieism as a mind control weapon. Rufus went for quiet for a minute until this news about his dad sink in. Then let out a sudden cry like a wild animal and leapt on the guy. After I pulled Rufus off and made sure he hadn't actually clawed Lude's eyes out, I told him I didn't believe Lude's theory, but there's only one way to know for sure go to his home and find the evidence. He agreed, gave directions to a house in the suburbs, and said we could leave any time. Oh no. Crap. Use our zombie trap. Okay, scout. Oh, I wish... I wish... I wish you wish you wish that I could get that place right away, but I cannot. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna start mission and trade. And they like moose. Moose. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this episode. And until next time, uh, or I don't know. Just thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. How's that about that? Yeah. Okay. Bye.